Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Anne with an E. Last episode, Anne started a little bit of a revolution. <laughs> Her story came out and while she probably should have consulted Josie about it, it overall shook people up and uh, that's what that town needs sometimes. Um, she got a lot of support except, well, she had support from Diana, but they had a knock down drag out fight about the way Diana treated Jerry. And while I do agree with Anne, I understand where Diana's coming from. It's a, you know, it's a young little relationship and it probably doesn't have a future, but I wish she would have taken Jerry's feelings into consideration a little bit more. She was a little bit using him, but that whole bite kind of played on some insecurities I think that Anne had about, you know, their class differences and I hope they can make up because I love their friendship dearly. Um, they had a little protest when, you know, they wanted to fire Anne and shut down the, the, the paper. Um, but you know, they got pictures of the old men freaking out and you're thinking, yay, they they won, but no, they went and got their printing press in the middle of the night and started a fire it seems I hope it didn't burn down the school but who knows I'm super worried about that like that school has meant a lot to them and that's Miss Stacy's place and god I hope ugh, I hope even if it did burn down that they can get justice on the people who did it fuck those men in power fuck them all We've only got three episodes left, and that's super sad, but still nothing with the Micmac people. I'll say it every episode until they address it. Like, I can't believe they just set that up and have not readdressed it hardly at all since. So hopefully we get some something there. Uh, this episode is called Great and Sudden Change. Oh, God, that makes me think that it might have did burn down. I hope not. Let's get into it. Oh, yes, yes. Fuck these nuns. Y'all just need to run. Run now. Yes. Did they plan an escape? Coquette, run. Guns? You fucking heathens. Eat shit, lady. Is that the milk guy? Oh my gosh, could quit. Hold on. Oh gosh. No printing press. No printing press metal. Printing press doesn't just up and walk away by itself. Now is the time to focus on your futures and the Queen's entrance exams and not on this act of cowardice. The bell is still there, the stove. Curiously, the printing press is not. Yeah, she was not a part of that. No. So how could you be responsible? She's so smart. My ass toe was a trip immense. Did I catch a glare of a dock, boat, and train I stepped on? No matter where life takes me, I now know I must be a relentless thorn in the side of those who refuse to amend the status quo. Of course you must. Hell yeah. What the devil did you sell your soul to that you got two white maids falling <laughs> over themselves not to bet you? Yeah. <laughs> no devil. You should come and bring your fiancé. <laughs> <laughs> or you meeting Jerry? Hello? It's just that you told Anne, and I thought we were keeping this secret. Because and I'm not good enough for you. Could you stop saying that? It's true. You're being rude and, and aggressive, and I will not stand for it. Uh, Here, take them. Little Mick Jerry's being aggressive? Oh, oh, that is so sad. I can't believe you gave him back the little trinket. <gasps> Miss Josephine, what are you doing here? 
Maybe she can talk some sense into her. Times have changed. Go to college. Learn. I am going to learn. Oh, how to marry well? The Diana course of changed. Is buried. Which dress to wear? Which smile? You're beautiful. Paris will adore you. You won't be very interesting, but you'll succeed. <laughs> Damn. She let it out for her. Would you like anything else, Mr. Black? Oh, no. For you to sit down and have breakfast with him? Thank you. Mr. Blythe? Uh, good news is you won't be staying skinny long with my mother in town. Sebastian! <laughs> I, I'm sure he didn't mean that. You look like a very strong young man. <laughs> she should try building a fence with you. I know I'm liable to stop picking up a pencil one day. You act like that, get too comfortable, they'll turn on you. Didn't know you teach you to know your place. Teach me. I suppose that was your job. Had you been around to do it? Oof. I'm gonna go catch some breeze. Yeah, that's a complicated situation. Since all my friends are busy today, I'm off to help the PMSC ladies collect food for the unfortunate. Oh. Is she gonna go take them? Oh. Miss Josephine thinks so. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus, don't bring that anywhere. I have an idea. Go burn down their shit. How about that? Gilbert wasn't there, though. What happened? Oh. Moonshine? Oh, his are different because he's a doctor? You should start practicing your French for when you get into the Sorbonne. With the right test scores and uh, financial backing, you could be there come fall. If you're awaiting my blessing, son, it's granted. Are you going to ask her? <laughs> They're still kids. <laughs> they can have all the moonshines they want. They're still kids. Uh oh. Uh oh. Winnie, you're in trouble. And her father laid it out on a silver platter. Laid what out on a platter? The Sorbonne, Paris. She's drunk, dude. <laughs> Money to do it. My future if I want it. What's holding you back? Um, what am I supposed to? And, and everybody, everyone is now, and now you just, and I'm pirate, and we never even end up Paris, and you are never gonna find that much, I know. So, how can I? I <laughs> was that coherent at all? <laughs> oh my god, so much was said, and none of it made sense. <laughs> Dictionary, or was it an encyclopedia? Still cute. Oh, in the ring. Oh my goodness, the parallels. God, y'all are all so young. This thing's so slowed down. How oh, can I help you? Uh, I heard you say Aunt Jo is here. I came to speak with her. My aunt is visiting me. Yes. The book's characters just know, but this feels like something that I can't quite grasp. I mean, I don't love him. When all is quiet in your mind, you'll find your answer. I suppose I'll have my tragical romance after all. And the cool who's inside the angel. <laughs> Any complaint he has about his childhood can come to me direct. Oh. Make sure she doesn't capsize that book. Oh. Hold on, I've a white down Master's table. Uh oh. I'm proposing. Yes, my answer is yes. Oh, I that's cute. Anne if she thought there was a chance for us. Wait, I have to get up. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> it was always on. From the moment you got her letter on the ship, I called it. I love her. I wish. She said no. Oh, oh he's dead. So cute. Did she say no or did she gibberish? But I have clarity. Now, I needed to know where I stood with Anne. Now that I do, 
think I could be happy with Winnie. We'll still be brothers. Always. I'm glad for you. Oh, I love them. Good day, gentlemen. Fuck them up. I know it was you who burnt the school and took the printing press. This is preposterous. Oh, no. no need to be hysterical. <laughs> Let me remind you that I'm the only one privy to your outrage after the demonstration. While denial is... Sounds true, like a threat. Spreading news convincingly and relentlessly is mine. For goodness sake. Believe you it. didn't burn the school. I won't talk. Or ask you to step down if we add three women to the board. A gender balance and this all goes away. You got them dead to rights. Yes, use that leverage. Hell yes. I mean, I still would like them to face consequences, but like make them have equality. That's probably like punishment for them. Oh, Coquette. Did you make it? <gasps> Yay. They know something had to have happened. Their worst fears. Minnie Mae? You got rep or filled by your sister. Say hello to the newest member of the board of trustees. Well done. Awesome. Oh, you poor dear. You must be tuckered out. Oh, is that from Diana? Oh, yay. I solemnly swear to be faithful to my bosom friend, Diana, for as long as the sun and moon shall enter. The morning can start off like any other, but by nightfall, things have occurred that could change your course forever. Yeah, a lot of things have happened this episode. I'm in love with Gilbert Blythe. Oh! <laughs> okay! Realization hit her. Okay, so I like that episode. I am so glad that Coquette got away. I'm so glad we got to see more of her story and... She went through a lot to get home finally, but she is home. Hopefully she can get her family and maybe get to Anne or, you know, the townsfolk to shut that place down to help all those other kids that are there. Oh, God. No, I don't want to. Oh, she sucks. Um, but at least there was a happy resolution there for Coquette and hopefully for the others soon. Um, Gilbert, I guess, is going to propose, which interesting that he went to Anne to kind of let her say her piece about it but she was drunk and not making sense and incoherent and he determined her saying that she wasn't interested I don't know if I would have gotten there but that's what he thinks so he plans on proposing but now Anne has this all of a sudden realization that she's in love with him so we'll see how this is gonna go. I hope Winifred doesn't get her heart broken. I feel like she's going to. But I like her well enough, so that kind of sucks for her. And I'm glad that Anne and Diana made up. I did not like seeing them fight, and especially for the reasons. I, I hope that they can talk about that more. It really sucks that Diana made Jerry feel the way he did. Diana's got some issues with class and privilege that she doesn't quite understand. She's open to learning, so I hope that is something that she can learn. And Maybe we could have gotten that if there were more, been more seasons, but I don't exactly see them kind of wrapping that up with only two episodes to go, but who knows. Um, and I like Minnie Mae getting to her and being like, I'm supposed to be like you, you don't even like yourself. That was probably a big moment for her, and it allowed her to go make up with Anne. So I'm happy for that. And then Minnie Mae stays being the best. She is so great. I really like the scenes with Bash and his mom. It's a really complicated situation. I completely understand why his mom is the way that she is. Uh, she's never been around white people who aren't masters. And so she's trying to, you know, mind her P's and Q's and make her son do that. But, you know, Gilbert and Bash have a completely different relationship. And I hope she comes to know that 
so she can lighten up a little bit, but it's all she knows, so we'll see. I'm so glad that Diana took the test. I'm hoping she decides to go to college and not finishing school. Like, no one needs to go to finishing school. It's so stupid, but of course, Aunt Josephine coming in and telling her the facts, being like, you're not gonna be an interesting person if you do this. <laughs> I love Miss Josephine, she's the best, always. And she helped Anne out too, trying to, you know, put her feelings for Gilbert under the microscope and seeing how she really feels. And now we know how she really feels. She's in love, so <laughs> a lot of complicated stuff there. Um, and I'm glad, you know, I, I want all those council members to get fired for what they did, but at least they used leverage against them to get to get somewhere in the world and now they have an equal standing on the on the council so that'll be cool maybe that'll help help with the Kikwet situation maybe I don't know I, it can't be anything but positive and and it's actually going to be Marilla who's one on the council I, I with uh with Rachel and I wonder who else maybe Miss Miss Stacy and they did have like a little throwaway scene with Miss Stacy and Bash. Are they setting up something there? I don't know if I'm ready for that to be honest. I'm still mourning Mary. I don't I don't think it's been that long in this show. But I don't know. I'm kinda weary of that. But yeah, I really like this episode. I like so many things that happen here. A lot of resolutions to some stuff that I've been wanting to or at least pathways to resolution with the Kakwed and the the council and now Anne and Gilbert trying to like get on the same page. We'll see where we're going there. Only two episodes left. It's so sad. But I'm really excited to see how they wrap this up. Even though I was told that they didn't know that this was, this was their last season. So I don't know how much wrapping up they do. But you know, every season finale is kind of like wrapped up the main story. So We'll see how that continues. And yeah, I really like this episode. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.